Hi there, this is Tammy with Tammy Stamping Therapy. Today I'm coming on with um, a project share. This is my die cuts for me, uh, Susan Tootsie Tucker's Meet Me With Some Die Cuts. Is that what it's called? Where she pairs us up with people each month and we swap. Um, I've mentioned before that I tend to go a little overboard with stuff. So when I was done doing my die cuts, I had a lot and I was planning to make a little tiny book to put them in but they wouldn't fit in a little book so I had the idea to alter this binder um, this is similar to what I was planning to do for Rosa Kelly for her she has an embellishment binder challenge going on um, frustrating part of that for me today I checked my book to see what she wanted in addition to the binder and realized but her deadline was June 15th, so I've really missed it, and I'm not all the way done yet. I'm still going to finish that and send it to her, because it's really pretty. I made it for her. It's not something I will use. And it's the reason I was making all those bows and flowers and stuff. So I'm going to finish that, but this was first on my list for the weekend. Um, I just finished this. It's Sunday afternoon. Well, it's Sunday evening now. And I need to get it in the mail tomorrow, so I wanted to do a video. So this is a binder. Uh, Stampin' Up! sells these binders. It's a Memories and More scrapbooking type binder. It's like eight and a half. Well, let's see. Eight and a half by eight and three quarters. And then it comes with pocket pages inside, but I made my own pages. I used one or two pocket pages, but I made my own. So this is the cover. Here's one of the bows that I had made uh, for the Rosa Kelly thing. I have a ton of bows. And then I, I die cut this doily on the front. I made the, this flower with my daisy punches and my daisy stamps. And let's see what's inside. So the theme is Halloween and fall. But since I made this binder I thought I would make the binder itself something that can be used for other things that's why this isn't decorated in Halloween or fall uh, which reminds me I need to add a note in the card I wrote for her uh, so it's Halloween and fall inside but you'll see when we get inside so that's the cover inside the front cover I put the word friend I die cut friend and then I put a smaller daisy here and this is another part of that doily die. This paper is from my Graphic 45 paper. That's the safari, all the African animals and stuff. And that's the paper I used inside the book. Paper on the outside. Um, I bought this at Craft Warehouse. Because I didn't have enough of this to do the whole book. Because there's only a couple sheets when you buy the paper pack of this. So here's, it starts with Halloween and you can see I die cut Happy Halloween and added that on there. And then I made these pockets. Um, so this pocket, this is what's in it, is these little kitties. I made a bunch of these little kitties. Uh, my partner is Jenny who is Craft Creations and she said she likes pastel -oween. So I did a mix of both pastels and um, traditional Halloween colors. And then this pocket has some cute bats in it. It's kind of funny, I've always said I don't like Halloween, but I had quite a few Halloween die cuts, and then I had really, really had a fun, a lot of fun making this. The only part I don't like about the Halloween stuff is spiders, so I asked Jenny not to send me any spiders. And this pocket has some cute little witch hats. <coughs> This one has more bats, smaller bats, and here's some more bats. This is a Spellbinders die that has three different sizes of these bats, so there's a mix there. Uh, this I stamped some sentiments and die cut them and then put them on these frames. And I got, did these cute little ghosties. There's three sizes of these ghosts, and I did them in uh, glimmer paper. And these are more bats, a different kind of a bat that's really cute. 
I don't know when I'm going to post this video. I wanted to shoot it before I send it, but I kind of want Jenny to see this before I post the video, the video so I'm not sure. Uh, so here's one of the pocket pages, and I put these cool cats in there, and then Boo. And then th this is a Elizabeth Craft Designs die set, and it was so fun making these little bats. I did at least six of everything that I did for her. Um, I cut them out in black and then layered on basic gray and then did a little glimmer bow. And then I did a bunch of these Happy Halloweens. This is what I did most of the day Friday and Saturday was die cutting. And then today was putting the book together. Sorry for the glare. This is some little pumpkins. Some more sentiment. Oh, this isn't a sentiment. This is a little mummy that's been stamped and die cut and then on a cool frame. This one is a little skull. I did this in the glimmer paper. And this is some more sentiments, a couple different sentiments that I stamped and die cut. And um, I had bought a Halloween kit. I can't remember what the name of the company is that the paper was from, but it was a kit that had paper and all kinds of embellishments, and it had these border stickers, and that's what these pumpkins are here. And then back here, oh, it must have been Doodlebug, because that's what these are. Um, here's some leaves. These are actually fall, but there was no place to put them over there. So these are made out of this same paper purple and orange and these are some other witch hats and then those are some little surprises that I have for her now we're into fall you can see I die cut the word fall and this pocket has these cute little owls in it you see that little owl this pocket down here has these stamped and die cut leaves I did um, I think it's called kissing when you're stamping. So I inked the stamp with green and then I touched the edges of the stamp to Cajun Craze to add some extra color. So that's a lot of fun. These are like fall trees. Well, or winter. They have no leaves on them. And then this is that word fall that I have down here. I cut this out in several, a couple of different colors of cardstock. Um, here's some more leaves. These are fun. This is a set called Rooted in Nature. It stamps and dies and uh, there's an embossing die for each of three different leaves. And of course when I start shooting a video my husband's making noise and I'm sorry for that and my dog is making noise. So anytime. They've been quiet all day but as soon as I start shooting a video they start making noise. This is also from Rooted in Nature. I stamped and die cut this, and this I did what's called thumping. So I inked the stamp with one with a green. Then I took a brown marker and colored the base and some of the branches. Then I took two other colors of markers, which you can really only see part of it. And you take the marker and you thump it on there, and it adds some extra color. It's fun to do for fall uh, leaves for a tree. And then this is more leaves, which there's three different kinds of leaves in there. And then I built these little pumpkins. There's another dog. All we need now is the cat. I don't know where he is. Um, I don't want to take, well, I will take these out. I'll take one out anyway. These are made with circle punches. So I punched three circles and then I embossed them with one of my embossing folders. And then I inked the cardstock is pumpkin pie. I inked the edges with Cajun Craze and then I used early espresso and just free cut a little stem. And the last thing in here is these guys and this is like a this could be Halloween or fall. It's like brush without the leaves or something like that. So that is my book. That's the end of the book. This is my 
die cuts for meet me with some die cuts uh, my partner again is Jenny with craft creations and I think I am going to not post this until after she's seen it so I'm going to mail it off tomorrow and then I'll post the video next week after I know that she's seen it so thank you for watching hope everyone has a fabulous day today is Sunday so um, have a wonderful new week starting tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.